attention, speakers, coaches, consultants, and ministers. Imagine trying to gather a crowd in a vast, noisy marketplace. That's the challenge of building an online community. Yalo, I am Samuel F. Robinson's AI voice. Today, I am comparing the community platform Facebook group versus school. Stay to the end for a bonus. It's a world where everyone is vying for attention, where voices are drowned in the red ocean of a million others. It's a world where brands are not just competing with each other, but also with the endless stream of content that fills our screens every day. Building an online community is like trying to shout above the din. It's trying to gather people around your brand, to engage them and make them feel part of something big. It's about creating a space where people can connect, share ideas, and feel like they belong. But in this digital marketplace, it's easier said than done. You see, the challenge starts with finding the right audience. It's not enough to gather a crowd. You need the right crowd. You need people who are interested in what you offer, people who align with your brand values, people who are likely to engage with your content and participate in your community. But in the vastness of the internet, finding these people can feel like looking for a needle in a haystack. Once you've found your audience, the next challenge is engaging them effectively. It's about creating compelling content that resonates with them, content that they want to engage with, content that they want to share. It's about sparking conversations, fostering relationships, and creating a sense of community. But with the constant barrage of content, capturing their attention and keeping them engaged can be a Herculean task. And then there's the challenge of managing the community. It's about moderating discussions, addressing concerns, and maintaining a positive environment. It's about nurturing relationships, fostering a sense of belonging, and making sure everyone feels heard and valued. But managing a community, especially a large one, can be like herding cats. In this digital marketplace, school and Facebook groups emerge as two promising platforms. But which one is right for you? That's the question we'll be exploring in the next scenes. So stick around, because this is where the fun begins. Picture school as a sleek, modern classroom and Facebook groups as a bustling town square. Both have their charm, but they offer different experiences. Imagine walking into a crisp, state-of-art classroom, every corner designed to streamline your learning process. That's school for you. It's a platform built specifically for online education with a clean interface that makes navigation a breeze. Fitted with course creation tools and payment systems, School is a boon for course creators looking to deliver quality education seamlessly. It's the new kid on the block, but don't let that fool you. It's backed by industry veterans like Alex Hermosi and has already found its place in successful branding strategies like those of Samuel F. Robinson. School is for those with a long-term vision for early adopters ready to stake a claim in the future of online education. Now, let's take a detour and visit the bustling town square that is Facebook groups. It's familiar, it's lively, it's where everyone is. Facebook groups is a more general purpose platform where you can create a group about anything under the sun. It's been around for a while, so it's got a wider audience reach. It offers features like group chat and file sharing, making it a good option for casual communities and discussions. Where school is the modern, specialized classroom, Facebook groups is the traditional, all-purpose gathering spot. Both these platforms have their strengths. School shines with its user experience, community engagement tools, and features that offer privacy and control.
It's the preferred choice for those seeking a comprehensive platform for online education. On the other hand, Facebook groups, with its wide reach and general purpose features, is a go-to for those looking to foster more casual, diverse communities. Now, let's dive deeper into what each platform has to offer. Stepping into school, you'd find a clean interface, course creation tools, and payment systems. It's like stepping into a well-equipped classroom. Imagine a platform designed with the purpose of facilitating online education. That's school for you. The user experience is not just about a clean and intuitive interface, but it's also about creating a conducive environment for learning. School offers a seamless experience, allowing users to navigate easily and focus on what truly matters, education. Now, let's talk about community engagement tools. On school, you're not just a course creator or a student, you're part of a vibrant, thriving community. The platform offers various tools to foster engagement, such as discussion forums, live chats, and Q&A sessions, promoting a sense of camaraderie and shared purpose among users. But school doesn't stop there. It understands that for a community to thrive, it needs support and resources. That's why it offers a wide range of resources for course creators, such as tutorials, guides, and customer support. It provides a solid foundation for those who are new to course creation and a helping hand for those who encounter challenges along the way. Privacy and control are of paramount importance in today's digital age. School recognizes this and provides a secure environment where privacy is respected and users have control over their content. Course creators can decide who can access their courses, set their prices, and control how their courses are marketed. It's about empowering creators and providing them with the tools they need to succeed. The beauty of school lies in its specialization. It's a platform that understands the unique needs of online education communities and delivers features to meet these needs. It offers a comprehensive suite of tools for course creation, community engagement, and monetization, allowing creators to focus on delivering quality content and fostering meaningful interactions. School, with its tailored features, seems like a haven for course creators. But what about Facebook groups? One moment, I want to express my gratitude for your attention. It means a lot to me. I also appreciate the support of my viewers. Visit getaikeys.com to subscribe and learn what the manual did not teach you about embracing AI. Thanks to another supporter, Samuel F. Robinson, for empowering businesses to enhance their brand visibility on social media and build profitable communities. Let's continue. In contrast, Facebook groups feels like a bustling town square with lively group chats and file sharing features. Picture this, a digital space where everyone has a voice, a place where you can connect with people from all corners of the globe sharing ideas, knowledge, and experiences. That's what Facebook Groups offers. It's a platform that's been around the block and it's familiar to most of us. One of the main features of Facebook Groups is its group chat. It's like having a roundtable discussion at any time of day. Whether you're in New York, London, or Tokyo, you can connect with like-minded people at the touch of a button it's a space where you can share ideas, ask questions, and get insights from people who share your interests. Then there's the file sharing feature. Need to share a document, a photo, or a video? No problem. Facebook Groups makes it easy. You can upload files directly to the group where they're accessible to everyone. It's a great way to share resources and keep everyone in the loop. But perhaps 
the most significant feature of Facebook groups is its reach. With over 2 billion users worldwide, Facebook is a platform that most people are familiar with. It's a platform that people check daily, even hourly. This means that your group has the potential to reach a vast audience. If you're looking to connect with a large number of people, Facebook groups might be the platform for you, but it's not just about the numbers. Facebook groups also offers a sense of community. It's a place where people can connect on a deeper level, where they can share their experiences and learn from each other. It's a place where you can build relationships that go beyond the digital world. In short, Facebook Groups is a versatile platform. It offers a space for discussion, a place for sharing, and a community that spans the globe. It's a platform that's easy to use, familiar to most, and has a reach that few can match. Facebook Groups, with its broad reach, seems ideal for brands looking to reach a larger audience. But how do these platforms stack up against each other? It's time for the showdown. School, the sleek classroom versus Facebook groups, the bustling town square. Who wins? So let's start with course management. School as a platform specially designed for online education offers an array of tools tailored to course creators. It provides a clean interface, making course creation and management a breeze. On the other hand, Facebook groups, while not specifically built for course management, still offers some functionality in this area. You can share files and resources, but the process isn't as streamlined or specialized as school. Moving on to engagement tools, school again takes the lead with its interactive elements it encourages active learning and community engagement it's like having your own virtual classroom where every student can participate facebook groups while offering features such as group chat may not provide the same level of engagement as school however it does have the advantage of familiarity with many people already comfortable using the platform for communication. Now, let's talk about monetization options. School comes out ahead here with built-in payment systems that let course creators easily monetize their work. It's a one-stop shop for course creation, management, and monetization. Facebook Groups, on the other hand, doesn't have native monetization features, so course creators would need to find alternative ways to charge for their content. Marketing tools are another important factor to consider. School provides resources and tools to help course creators market their courses. This includes analytics to track your course's performance and tools to help you reach your target audience. Facebook groups, while not having these specialized marketing tools, has the advantage of a larger user base. This means a wider potential audience for your brand or course. Speaking of audience reach, this is where Facebook groups shines. With its vast user base, your potential reach is enormous. It's like having a billboard in the busiest part of town. School, being a newer platform, doesn't have the same level of reach. However, it does offer a more specialized audience, people who are specifically interested in online learning. This means your content may be more relevant to the people you're reaching. So who comes out on top in this showdown? Well, it all depends on your needs. School offers a comprehensive, streamlined platform for course creators with tools tailored specifically for online education. It's for those with a long-term vision, willing to grow with the platform. Facebook Groups, on the other hand, offers a wider audience reach and the familiarity of a well-established platform. It's perfect for brand owners looking to get their name out there to a large audience. 
As with any showdown, the winner depends on what you're looking for. Are you a course creator seeking a comprehensive platform or a brand owner looking to reach a wider audience? It's not enough to have your brand adequately designed and platforms discussing your products and services. You also need to ensure that people can easily find you in a noisy marketplace. An additional key is to position yourself in front of your ideal audience so that they can connect with you through attraction marketing. The choice between school and Facebook groups is not a simple one. It's like choosing between a sleek classroom and a bustling town square. Each has its unique strengths and caters to different needs. In the sleek classroom of school, you have a platform specifically tailored for online education. It boasts a clean interface, advanced course creation tools, integrated payment systems, and an array of engagement tools. School is like a finely tuned instrument, ready to play the symphony of your online course with precision and elegance. Then. There's the bustling town square of Facebook groups, a general purpose platform with a wider audience reach. It's like having your own little corner in the world's largest social networking site where you can chat, share files, and engage with your community. Facebook groups with its universal accessibility offers a familiar, convenient, and expansive space for interaction. But remember, School isn't just a platform. It's a partner in your journey. It offers support, resources, privacy, and control features that are often overlooked, but crucial for long-term success. School is for those who see the big picture, for early adopters with a long-term vision. On the other hand, Facebook groups provide an immediate, broad access to a diverse audience. It's a go-to place for quick interactions and casual engagements. However, it may lack the specialized tools and personalized support that school offers. As we've seen, the choice between school and Facebook groups is not just about features. It's about understanding your goals, your audience, and your long-term vision. Still unsure which platform is right for you. Remember, choosing the right platform is an essential first step in building a successful online community. It's a decision that can shape the future of your brand, but you don't have to make this decision alone. Which platform is best for you? Leave a comment below and let us know which platform will help you stand out and navigate the noisy marketplace of online communities. Together, we can find the right platform that aligns with your vision and amplifies your voice in the digital world.